Gladiators ready. Hey guys, it's here. So today, uh, if you're watching this video, uh, we're doing another episode of Clem to Master, obviously. We return uh, that rating, 67 LP. Um, but this is going to be a non-commentary episode where I'm just kind of playing uh, as a normal player. I've got Twitch chat, so I'll probably be like reacting with them. Which is generally more of a chill episode. I like doing these, you know, a few times a week now. Uh, I think you guys enjoy them for the most part. My natural commentary does always kind of sink in every now and then. Um, so, yeah, you still will get, hopefully, some lessons. Um, but just not, like, a full commentary. But I don't know what I'm going to play. Hmm. So we're against an Evelyn. So you want something that either... Doesn't get low health in the jungle is always good. But, well, actually, not really. That's old Evelyn. I'm, I'm still thinking of old Evelyn. I say one bad thing with playing League of Legends for such a long time is your brain, sometimes it's hard to click out of old stuff. That's why I sometimes go, Huzz, no, like, that changed half a year ago. It, yeah, sometimes my brain it just is so clicked in to what the game used to be. Uh, it's hard to click out of it when stuff changes. Um, I know Fox has been spamming Zin, and I don't really know why. Shall I play Zin? You know, it's the end of the season, so I may as well like try new things and stuff, right? Start now. <laughs> Preparing for uh, season eight. Hmm. Let's try Zin. I'm interested. Fox, like, I know Fox Drop's been duo queuing, but still, getting to Diamond 1 again is pretty good. I'm just interested to see what's with this champ, because to me, my, my initial reactions is not, not much has changed with the champion to warrant people playing him. But, yeah. Also, let's actually go, like, a cool skin, because... Why would you play Zin and just wear a business suit? I don't get it. Uh, but yeah, let's 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 get into it. <clears throat> uh, Zin has a crazy good win rate versus Evelyn. Again, win rate isn't everything, but it gives you a little indication. No, I'll never do OQ. I'm not interested. I know I like to know I get the rating that I deserve because of me, not because someone helped me get there. Like again, no disrespect to Fox at all, but let's say he does get master the first time. It's like, well, you did do a Q. Like, I, again, a lot of people won't see the difference there, which is fair enough, but so I do. And my my brain just can't can't not see it that way. All right, let's see how it goes. Um, so this is working. Holy moly. What? 671 games of jerks. Ah, I don't understand. So I'm saying duo queue is harder sometimes. Uh, not really. If you're duo queuing and you have a higher MMR, then just you shouldn't be duo queuing with that person. You're in two of an uneven matchup for your skill. That's why generally you should always should do a cube with somebody, like, pretty much always on the same skill level as you. Um, and you should you should be alright. But yeah, do a queuing is never harder. It's the easier way to climb in solo queue. Well, solo slash do a queue. It's why all the pros do it uh, at the beginning of seasons. So when the new season comes around, when you watch, like, all the pros, all of them would be do a queuing. It's just easy. Um, so Red Smite into Bork. Do I need Bork? I don't know if I need Bork this game because none of them are really like tanky, right? But we'll, we'll play it by ear. We might go Triforce instead. Like, Warrior Red Smite into Triforce. Should be a pretty nice pull. Because of all the plants. Not bad. 
So they're in lane straight away, which could tell me that they're starting here. It is an Evelyn, but they don't have a great invade anymore, so I'm not that scared if they go for my blue. We'll see. Yeah, Zyra, I know. They're kind of rare. They probably will start popping up a bit more now, though, that Ardent's gone. She just kind of fell out of the meta completely. Uh, when Ardent was a thing, because Zyra couldn't really do anything. Just in case. So I'm expecting the Jax to win top lane, but the Camille, you know, she's still got 271 games. That's like half of my total games this whole season on one champion still. So it's not like she's got no no games on a champ. Uh, she still has a lot. <laughs> Uh, so she used Flash, so we can probably dive. If Jax gets a good stun off, then, yeah. Alright. Uh, that's getting pushed in. Evelyn did start red buff, so this should be fine. But let's just help him push it in. I don't want to take that from him. He didn't get it anyway. Why didn't he use W? Okay, nice. I got the first blood. I actually probably would have wanted Jax to get that, I'm going to be honest, because I want him to snowball. But he tanked the tower first, so yeah, he had to back out early. Nothing bad about it, it's just unfortunate that he didn't get the kill. So I will be honest, this is my second time playing the new Zin. The first time I played it was in threes. Oh, I need to play more threes. I've got two more games left of my uh, provisionals. I just want to get gold really quick at the end of the season. Because uh, if you're unaware, um, the more queues you get ranked in... Oh dear. The more queues you get ranked in, I... Th oh, she played that really bad, that Zyra. She walked back in to die. Well, that's not good. Um... You get chromas, depend... Ah, so she counter jungled. Uh, you get chromas depending um, on what cues you get um, thingy with. Damn, son. I should have angled my W upward, but I thought we would instantly kill her there and we didn't. Did get a flash though. So it's not terrible, but it's just not that good. Just gonna base it. Oh, she's got teleport. Oh. Let's go back. Again, I think you want red smite pretty early on Zin, because you like I think I wanna look for the Evelyn in a 1v1, right? And yeah, no, you're right in Twitch chat. I shouldn't have used E. Because if I didn't use E and I just walked up to her, which I could have done with the stun, then when she flashed, then I could have used my E. Okay, yeah. Didn't think of that. Now I do. I'm go top lane in a second. Okay, my way. Oh. Level 5 roam from a Lux. That's a bit random. Again? Second time someone survived on no health this game. What's going on? So Evelyn was top playing just now. Wait, what? Uh... Uh, what? Why didn't he kill her? That's confusing. God, they're getting wrecked. So, so, Twisted Fate TP down and got killed. Jax now dives, gets the kill, but then I'm not there and now gets killed. 
That was weird. I don't know why he didn't go in when I went in. They're dead again. What is going on? No idea. Can I stop that? Like, if Lux has ultimate, I could die. Eh, I don't really want to. The minions are going to die by the time I'd get there anyway. Don't know what's going on. Uh, so it is Max and Q still. Okay. So Evelyn will be level 6 now. So she's got her stealth. This game doesn't feel great. So far. But, I don't know. You think he was Oom? I don't think so. It looked like he had some mana. Again, Jack's mana costs for his Q and that are pretty cheap. Like 30 mana? I'm pretty sure he had 30 mana. But even if he just walked up to her, I think she was dead. But yeah, I really want to get this guy fed. Because I think it's pretty important. That's bad. I'm on my way. Don't risk it. Don't risk it. I got her. I got her. I got her. Did have to use flash for it, but whatever. Oh, twisted fate! Kill something! Oh, that's not worth because he's going to die as well. Live, man. Run. Oh, they got a kill in bot lane. How you doing? God damn it. It's good they got a kill in bot lane somehow. Like, Soraka used ult as well. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Camille typing in all chat is a... Uh, ding a ling a ling a ling camp me i'm gonna tilt it's like a dinner bell ding a ling a ling a ling come on eh Ay. i think like i don't know i i i might have killed her by myself there like, like i don't know that's weird all right Let's kill her. Do you max Q until it's maxed? Yeah. Charge! To the arena! Hell yeah! Oh my god! Woo! That was a lot of damage. I'm going to keep coming top. Damn! Let's <laughs> buy Merc Treads for no apparent reason. <coughs> Jesus Christ. I was not expecting... Like, she's just got a Morella number cotton and she like one shot us both. Okay. Okay. Kill it. DPS, 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 DPS. Where's the Zyra damage? No sense of Zyra wanting to do damage there, which is a bit worrying. She's tilted because she's not returning back to top lane. Oh, they're going to get Mountain Dragon. Nothing we can do about that. Okay, I'm on my way. Ooh. Oh, unluckily. Unluckily? Unlucky. Keep her killing her. 
<laughs> right for everybody. Where's the old chat? We're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. Come on, don't let us down now. Oh. There we go. I did a lot of damage. Like a surprising amount of damage. And I don't even have Sheen. Oh, she's Moby's? Okay. Victory calls. <clears throat> Hello, Camille. Hello, Darkness, my old friend. Ah. Hehe. <laughs> oh my, the damage! How does she do so much? She's not even fed. She still only has a Morella Nomicon. It's crazy. Uh oh. Not in bot lane. Oh no. Damn. Bot lane. But yeah, if we if if Jack stayed with me and we insta killed Camille, I think we would have been completely fine. I think we would have got out of there in time, or just both of us turned on Lux or Evelyn or whatever. I think that would have been okay. But because I was alone, I didn't kill her very quickly at all. Which kind of was poop. So yeah, bot lane, I obviously not have put a lot of time into bot lane, but you could argue from what we've seen a little bit, they, they're not playing very good, obviously. So maybe it's like a good thing I'm not putting strength into them. Because sometimes you put strength into people. Damn. Haha, -ha, I got it. Hmm. It's going to be interesting to see how this game goes when we're... Ooh. Damn it, Twisted Fate. Uh... What's he doing? I don't know. <coughs> I doubt she'll continue pushing... Surely they're going to have, like, a 2v1 situation in top lane soon, though, right? Like, if I... Right now, I would think Evelyn's more likely to be top than anywhere else. Because nothing's happening in mid, nothing's happening in bot lane, 100%. So, I don't know. If I was the Evelyn, I'd probably be top lane. Where, like I don't I don't I don't like not knowing where anyone is. And Jack slid so there's the Evelyn. So Lux might be like here. We don't know where Camille is. Ooh. Thought she might have stayed a little bit more where she was. Cool. Hey, do you carry misposition? Okay, this is going to be interesting. If he dies to the really, really weak Camille, then we're in trouble. Which it doesn't look like he's going to. Good. 
gonna say. That would have been a sad day. Oh. I underestimated where Camille was. Ew, my bad. I didn't look where Camille... Okay, this actually might go well. This might go well. They need to have backup, that's for sure. Uh, he should have gone for the Lux. Lux is definitely a bigger threat right now than any of these guys. This is bad. This is really bad. Yeah. That was really messy. Oh, God. That was not good. Yeah. The Lux is doing a lot. Twisted Fate unfortunately went for the Camille. That It doesn't matter. He was right next to the Lux and I think that would have been a kill. Damn. Close. The warrior spirit is never I don't really want them to have mountain, <laughs> but they definitely had pressure on it, so. Hmm. So Camille is pretty weak. They do have a Soraka that's always, always going to be annoying. Because she just has to press a couple buttons and then people are back full health, practically. Um... I don't know, if we survive their initial burst, I think we'll be alright. The warrior spirit is never broken. Then I'm not. Hmm. We'll see. Ba 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 da ba. I wonder if they're going to use the Camille as just, like, split-pushing dummy. Because, um, like, if she just split-pushes and survives, that might be annoying. I really like your stream, and I hope you get a lot bigger because you deserve it. Thanks very much, man. You know, I wish my ultimate was a shield for other people as well. I think that would help Zin a lot. That was bad reaction times. When not to ult. We could kill them. Oh no. God damn it. So their useless pl player is now being more useful than ours. I don't know if that was the correct target to go on, but... It's obviously important to kill a Soraka, but when... The Lux is so fed... I don't know. Maybe it's worth just one-shotting the Lux. This is difficult. Do you think they're doing it? I don't. Who's going to tank it? Like, I, I would think that's... M wow, okay, they did. Who tanked? Oh, uh, yeah, it's a Soraka. Okay, I ducked. They don't need a tank when they've got Soraka. Damn. Guessing Evelyn, yeah. An AD carry by themselves. Never should be by themselves. Yeah, two mountain dragons and a Soraka. Yeah, okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, uh, this game's tough. To I don't know. I put, like, pretty much all my jungle time in the early game into the top lane, which went well, but it just doesn't seem to have mattered that much, if you know what I mean. Like, 
it, the Camille is still actually done completely fine, relatively. None of my team are on the same page there, I don't know. Uh oh. Teleport. That ruined our day a little bit. Oh well, this is what I mean. Like, it just seems like we shut her down, and in reality, she's still doing completely fine. Where the, our team that weren't doing very well, they're just still not doing very well. So. She flashed at the wrong time! She already rooted them, and then she flashed. What? That doesn't make sense. Damn Star Wars going on. As for Zin himself, I actually do feel kind of strong. Um, but I just don't know what really I could do in this game to make it a win. A lot of the stuff that's going on is kind of out of my control, or it feels it anyway. Oh my god, someone help, please! Wait, why would Evan flash? Oh, she did go stealth, so she might be okay, but... It'd be worrying if she does survive. Which I actually know she has, wow. Okay. Fair enough. <clears throat> and Caitlyn's top lane. If we get this game tied in a really late game, I think there's a chance? But it's it's small. Yeah, Infernal. Do we contest that? I guess we do. But look at Evelyn's farm, dude. Evelyn's farm is the same as her solo laners. I don't know how she's had that much. Did she, like, jump into lane with people? I guess. Because how else does she have that much farm? Do as much damage to her as you possibly can. The more damage you do to their jungler before a dragon, the less likely they can contest it. Because they might just get killed before the dragon is, like... Dead. <coughs> oh, cool. <coughs> no. Yeah? Wait, I got charm then, really? No, oh, she's got McHale's. God, I haven't seen a McHale's in ages, or it doesn't feel like I have. Oh, this might be all right. We could have killed a couple people there, surely. This, I will say the Jackson, he doesn't seem bad. He just goes in so late. My ultimate is quite useful. Um, in uh, in this game though, because like they're fed people, all of them are ranged, so I can jump in, use my ultimate, and be kind of immune to it. So it forces them, it forces them either to like waste their damage on me, or um, god damn it, or I can kill people. So yeah. I don't know, it's kind of cool. So Jax is saying he knew about that, yet he still somehow died. Hurrying. Item build? I don't know. See, GA would be quite useful this game, because it is kind of an all-in type of game. Um... So easily kill her in a 1v1 as well. Q. 
kill them. Hell yeah, there we go. If Lux doesn't like get her damage on the right people, we're looking actually pretty good. She's so fast. Jump on her face. And she probably has ult up by now. Knowing... Uh, knowing... Um, Lux. Woo! My damage is high. Might. Well, this might be a really bad idea. <laughs> uh, I told them I didn't have a smite, so mm. brilliant. And I had no smite. <laughs> He's there's a Camille. Who actually got did Caitlyn get that with an auto attack or did Lux get it? I don't know who got it. I didn't see, obviously. Well that's not good. Yeah, Jax definitely made that call. I don't know, maybe I should uh, should have been a bit more like I'm not doing Baron, we're not doing Baron and actually like been spamming, like no. Yeah, I said it a couple times. I, sm I said up here, challenge smite 73, uh, no smite. And then when we were on it, challenge smite 60 seconds away. So yeah, I warned them, but what can you do? I don't know. Did Eve get it? Eve didn't. God, this Jax is clueless. Okay, never listen to this Jax anymore for the rest of the game because legit he does not know what's going on. Oh my god, that was so close! Yeah, Caitlyn got it. Damn, I'm, I would want to know how low that Evelyn was. Close. Was it Caitlyn? It was either a Caitlyn with a Q or an auto attack. I don't know which one. I would have really wanted to kill that Evelyn there. That was so close. I don't know if Soraka may have saved her. Damn it. Like again, I feel pretty... Whoa. I feel pretty damn strong. That's a free kill. Take the free kill. Where's the Jack stun? I don't know what's going on. Like, why didn't Jack stun her in the bush? Am I missing something? I feel like I must be missing something, because why... Why didn't Jack stun her, like, here? I don't know. <sighs> Jax is a shin shin. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Um... God damn, that's Evelyn the whole game. She just doesn't die. Go on, Twisted Fate, kill her. Yeah, it was Caitlyn with rapid fire. Damn. 
So we'll say that's a lesson if, if you want to take anything from this game. If you, if you know you don't have smite and if you know internally it's a bad idea, I guess be more decisive about it and just kind of say to your team, I'm not doing Baron. Um... Because <coughs> if I did that, I think that would have been better. Because we have been getting a little bit of momentum back in this game. But then the, the Baron play definitely didn't help. <clears throat> they don't need me. I need more solo XP, I think. I want to be level 16. Oh, damn it. It's a decent amount of farm. Can I 1v1 everybody? Like, I don't know. Can I 1v1 the Camille? Ah, that's a bad idea by Twisted Fate. Go in that deep. Press Ejax. He should have done that earlier. Like this Jax does it way too late. He always gives them too much time to run away. It's happened here that he doesn't like do it. It just happened there that he should have stunned her instantly. He just is way too slow. Obviously that was bad by the way, but I'm just saying. Ah. And the sad thing is he's got over 670 games as Jax. So his Jax should be perfect. Ah. I'm actually, I'm okay with this game. A lot of it went wrong, but a lot of it is, I, I've, I, I kind of get where the new Zin is coming from. Yeah. Uh, I think this game was just a bit unfortunate with how, like, lane phase went. So we were basically playing the whole game from the back foot. We made some nice little comebacks. The Baron play, which the Jax called and did, obviously, caused the game. But I like, actually just... <laughs> the bot lane didn't do well in lane phase. We got the Jax ahead in lane phase. But he actually was kind of uh, a big reason why this game went really bad. <laughs> uh, a lot of his decisions, a lot of the time he wasn't stunning people when it was a kill. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Weird play coming from somebody with that many Jax games. But we went 8 to 10. So we did die a lot. Uh, you know, put my hands up there. Uh, but it was kind of a high death game. Uh, but yeah, 8, 10, 10, 94. Get a B minus. We only minus 15, so it's not that bad. Damage done. Well, that, that actually tells a story as well, doesn't it? I shouldn't be like a carry doing crazy damage. Where our both the Twisted Fate and the, the Zaya did less damage than our support. Like, these two should be up here, you know. They should be the kind of doing the damage, but yeah. So that kind of tells the story of this game. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed anyway. If you did, hey, throw a like on the video. Uh, I, I'm not sure about the Zin. I don't, I'm not really feeling it. I do feel like he's strong in places, but he still has a lot of his old weaknesses. So, meh. Uh, but yeah, like it, subscribe. See you guys next time.